Hey, what's up? Uh, I thought I'd take a quick second and just talk about something that was on my mind today, and uh, that's strategies for lifting heavy, what you guys should be thinking about, or at least what I think about and, and what's kind of worked with me in the past in putting in the right mindset to either uh, do really well at a workout, set a one rep max, um, the right attitude to go into a meet, and something that you kind of just want to keep steady um, for those of you guys that are powerlifting uh, to work really hard. So, um, strategies that are really good, especially for squats, deadlifts, bench, uh, is either that you're lifting up someone that you really care about. Um, that really works for me, especially if you guys have brothers, sisters, um, and that they're screaming at you, or sometimes that your friends are screaming at you. Another strategy I've used, and I use today actually, um, is, is when you're approaching the bar either for a squat, for a bench, for, uh, for a deadlift, just imagine that you're at the meet. Imagine the judge in front of you. I mean, get specific. Imagine the judge in front of you, the two judges to the side of you, um, spotters yelling at you, friends yelling at you, announcer in the background. I mean, really get specific, and you'll realize that it pumps you up quite a lot and that you know you can really get a lot tighter. You'll be gripping the bar a lot harder. You'll be you know doing your squats faster. You'll feel more accomplished. And uh, in general, you'll probably feel a lot better. Uh, what other strategies? So it, it's okay to talk to yourself at the gym. Uh, I, I kind of give myself verbal cues before I'm starting. Uh, I'll kind of mutter to myself, chest up, chest up, you got this. Uh, before you lift, of course, during your lift, you want to you know, focus on keeping that, that breath stable and uh, taking that Valsalva maneuver, but... Uh, before, you know, you got the shit, get the fucking weight up, whatever. Um, studies studies have shown, and I'll see if I can pull these up because I've been looking around at some studies recently that um, um, talking to yourself helps. Imagining things will literally recruit more muscle tissue when you imagine yourself in the situation, even if you don't even perform the exercise. Even if you just close your eyes right now and imagine uh, what it's like to be squatting full force you know with with judges to your side with an audience you know putting yourself in that mindset will really help you out um, it'll help recruit recruit uh, that motor pattern that you're after um, of course I suggest music and um, I posted some studies up on Facebook to this effect not just music though you know I mean it could be someone else's pump up song but that's really not gonna do it it's not it's not your pump up song it's not music that matters to you. You know, I, I'm sure all of you guys have those songs. That, it could be any genre, really. I mean, from classical to heavy metal, you know, to hip-hop to whatever. Everyone's got different tastes in music. And someone else's pump-up song isn't yours. And yours can change from time to time. So if the song that, that I love that I used for Raw Unity Meet last year, I probably won't use this time around. Um, taste change. So you want to find that song that just makes you tingle, makes you excited every time you listen to it, um, and use it sparingly. So, I mean, I mean, I don't really have any studies to show this, but I have a feeling that if you overplay a song, the, the effect that it has, that dopamine rush, that dopamine serotonin release, kind of fades over time. And, um, you know, you want to use it the same way you use a pre-workout drink that you know you kind of can get desensitized to caffeine from taking too much caffeine that if you just take the right amount of a pre-workout drink it just hits that right spot so save that song that that one two you know five songs that you just love and save them for the heaviest lifts and only listen to them during your heaviest lifts and you'd be surprised that that you can kind of save that and tap into that energy at the last minute when you need it those are a few strategies um, I'll try to post up some more videos. I'm glad you guys are liking them. I'll try to continue along the um, Common Squat Mistake series and continue along the Mobility series as well as just the regular commentary on my workouts. Thanks.